Welcome to the truth of God Jesus Christ is Lord. Here is another reaction video with Pastor Gino Jennings. We believe that Jesus Christ is Lord and He is the Creator of heaven and earth according to the scriptures. This channel is for educational purposes only. Who set up variety of ways to claim to be a Christian. That's right. Now let me startle you real good. Christian is in the Bible. A Christian is a person who lived like Christ. They was first called Christians at Antioch. But there's not a religion in your Bible that's called Christianity. Come on now. Come on back to Bible. That's right. There's not a religion in the history of the Bible mm -hmm. that's called Christianity. That's right. I want to say Jesus started Christianity. Listen, if you show me that scripture, I'll move the Sacramento. <laughs> Amen. You show me that scripture that Jesus started Christianity, I call my wife and tell her, put the house on the market, tell all seven hour kids move, and I'll make an announcement to headquarters that our new international headquarters church will be in Sacramento, California. Amen. That lets me know I'm going to stay in Philadelphia. That's right. Well, the question is, how is it? We've been believing this stuff for years. One, you were not allowed to ask questions in your church. These preachers don't believe in you asking no questions. They got this weak teaching. Don't question God. God ain't said that. No. And if I question you, I'm not questioning God. You ain't God. That's right. Acts 11 verse 26 When he found him, he brought him to Antioch. So for a whole year Barnabas and Saul met with the church and taught great numbers of people. The disciples were called Christians first at Antioch. This verse describes how the followers of Jesus were first called Christians in the city of Antioch, likely around 40 to 50 AD. The term Christian essentially means follower of Christ. Real Christians believe that salvation or reconciliation with God and eternal life comes through faith in Jesus Christ and His atoning sacrifice on the cross. Throughout history, Christianity has diversified into various denominations, each with its own interpretations of scripture, traditions, and practices. These include Catholicism, Eastern Orthodoxy, Protestantism, and numerous independent and non-denominational Christian movements. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Don't ever let no preacher tell you you can't question him. Why not? I'm paying tithing. I'm paying offering. I'm helping you build a church. I'm sacrificing my family, my time. And you're going to tell me I can't question what you teach me? Lord. Teaching does two things. It will save you or damn you. That's right. Are you listening to me? Any of you got a pastor and that pastor said it's wrong to question him, you call that devil tonight and bring him here tomorrow and let me question him. I'll make him lick up every lie he told you. They're liars. 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 They try to keep the church all in their ethnic group. An all black church, an all white church, an all Hispanic church. When you got that mindset, you're sinners. Oh, yeah. Well, you, when the Jesus come for his people, what do you think? New Jerusalem going to be broken up like a prison? Lord. A white section? Mm. A black section? A Hispanic section? Oh. One church. One church. One gospel, yeah. killing everybody. Amen. Are you listening? Biblical foundation, in the New Testament, particularly in the Gospels and the writings of the Apostles, there are numerous references to the unity of believers in Christ. For example, in John 17 verses 20-23, Jesus prays for unity among his followers. I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message, that all of them may be one, Father, just as you are in me and I am in you. 
This unity is often interpreted by Christians as indicative of Jesus' desire for a single, unified body of believers. The apostles played a central role in spreading his teachings and establishing communities of believers. They emphasized the importance of unity and doctrinal purity within the fledgling Christian movement. Early Christian writings, such as the Letters of Paul and the Acts of the Apostles, depict efforts to maintain the unity of the Church despite challenges from within and without. The concept of the Church as the body of Christ is central to Christian ecclesiology. This metaphor emphasizes the interconnectedness of believers, with Christ as the head of the Church. Just as a physical body has many parts but functions as a unified whole, so too is the Church composed of diverse members united in Christ.